me off. Please don't kick me off this one. Okay. okay. This might look a little. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you know how to turn on your camera, we won't kick you off. Oh, uh, can y'all see it? We can't see the camera. No, not yet. Okay. Can y'all see me? Um, no. You gotta pray. Oh, there, now we do. Now we do. Hey, girl. Oh so my cute. god, this is crazy. Uh, Hi. Wow, You've look. never been on our lives before, right? Like, like as no. a guest? Okay. No, I'd be on it. Cool. I'd be on y'all lives. I'm not gonna lie. What's, Hello, your, what's your name? Where are you from? What up, what up, what up? Uh, my name is Brianna. I'm from Miami, Florida. Ooh. Um, Ooh. I can't believe I'm on here. That's crazy. Okay. I'm not from a fan girl, y'all. Hi, Shanice. Hi, Olivia. Hey. Hi. How you doing? <sighs> I'm doing good. That's crazy. Okay. So I do have a couple questions. Since yesterday. And I'm shaking right now. I don't know why I'm shaking. Because I, I, I really genuinely enjoy watching y'all. Y'all do give me um, a lot of entertainment. My son is sleeping in the other room, so I'm here. Um, but I didn't. I don't have a um, paper, so I wrote it down in my notes. My first question is, well, let's let's get to the tea, because Olivia, your daddy was on live tonight, girl. I don't know if you've seen that. I did see that. Um, <clears throat> let's get to it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, your dad was just basically discussing how, you know, he doesn't approve of this. He likes you, Shanice. He says he likes you because you said that Jesus was king. But how do you feel about your dad um, going on live and, you know, kind of putting you out there? Not that y'all not already out there in a bad way or a good way, but he kind of, you know, was just um, confirming a lot of the things that people were already saying in the comments you know, about the relationship. Did you see it? I did not see, I did not see a minute You probably that. gonna see the clips. No, um, I, but. No, no, I have not. They're talking about what? Uh, your, your dad was just on live with Judge Karen or Karen's court. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure, I just follow her yeah, tonight, so, but. So you, got a, you got a question though? Yes, the question, oh, well, the question was, how do you guys feel about it? But um, um, the question I have, is, I have, a, I have a question, I, and this is why I always say the family that you create is more important than the family that you come from, because like what dad or what like brother or what aunt or uncle or mom do you know who would like publicly bash like their own like like family member? Like, who do you know that would, like, do that? Like, even if somebody didn't agree with the way somebody was living their life, who would go pub and publicly bash that rather than kind of, like, dealing and talking to that family member, like, directly? Well, he said that he's um, he spoke to Olivia on the phone and that you were on the sidelines, you know, basically telling her to wrap up that phone call. So I don't know, maybe he didn't feel like you... Maybe he feels like you're, you're like, kind of getting in the way of their relationship. Here's the thing. The thing is this. One, her dad was supposed to be coming here May 20th. Like, open invitation. He could have looked me in my eye. We could have had a conversation man to man. His concern for his daughter, I absolutely admire. And I totally get it. I don't have an issue with it. But it's just like, bro, you, you had an open invitation to come to my place and look me in my eye as a man and talk to me. Any problems, any questions, any comments, any concerns, any documentation, anything you needed to see, we could have hashed that out as men. But to go to social media without have ever having a conversation with me, it's crazy. As far as me trying to tell her to wrap that conversation up, her dad was talking to her for hours and we like to get up early so we can go to the gym because we have a routine, get to the gym. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. But ideally we like to get to the gym before the sun comes up, get a workout in so that way we can attack the day and handle our business. So if somebody just wants to stay up to midnight about drama, like that can kind of wait till like the next day, right? So if she tells me, hey, I really wanted to go to the gym, which she was telling me like, hey, I really want to go to the gym. I'm like, hey babe, like we gave them like 30 minutes, like please wrap this up. And they were talking for hours. So it's like, at what point do you look, like kind of like just continue to like 
let that go on, right? I mean, she can talk to her dad, it's her dad, right? But I'm just like, hey, like, if he wants to talk, like, tell him, like, like, to, like you guys can talk, like, later. Like, when you just see, like, her father just, like, berating her and shouting insults at her and doing all this stuff for hours and she's getting visibly upset, that's my problem. Like, I'm in the other room, I'm letting them have a conversation and the reason why I came back there in the first place is because I hear Olivia yelling and I'm like, wow. So now it's just like, it's not like a bad thing, but she's just getting kind of like emotional. Obviously it's an emotional conversation. I mean, so, imagine how it is for the dad for, you know. Yeah, and, and I totally did. And that's, why, that's why he was supposed to come out and meet me man to man. Like I totally understand his position. I'm not mad uh, at anything that he's saying or however he feels, I get it. Like who's who wouldn't be concerned for their daughter when they're dating a man that's like older and he's dating multiple women. I totally understand how that could look. I would think as a father, the respectful thing to do, the, the best thing to do would be to talk to that man and to have a face-to-face -face conversation. I know if I was a father, I would just want to meet the guy face-to-face -face, rather than go into social media and speak on something that I don't really have like the data on. So again, people can kind of handle things the way they want to handle it. I just think it's crazy that, you know, even if somebody doesn't support your decisions, that they, they will go in public, publicly speak against like their own daughter to me it, it's kind of wild like to me but again different strokes for different folks so, so you're saying that okay because a person would only make that drastic decision or move to go online when they feel like they've exhausted all So, so it's never it's never happened in person and I, I totally see I get how it looks but I still stand on the fact that her parents and her parents have an open invitation they can come and visit anytime they want they can stay in the guest bedroom we are fully transparent I will answer any question that they have they can ask me anything about anything because I totally get why they would be concerned for their daughter it's a unique situation it's totally different but I would just think that that's a conversation that we would have man to man not social media. And like I said, her dad was supposed to be coming out here May 20th. Is that correct? Yeah. So I don't know how that got lost in the sauce and he just got like, you know, whatever. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I just don't know many parents that would go and speak against d their kids. Like even people that have literally done things that are horribly wrong, their parents still like support them. And like for him to turn against her publicly for her relationship, kind of seems a little like corny to me, to be completely honest. Okay. Now, Olivia. Wait, before I get to Olivia, Sean, have you ever like initiated, like have you ever been like, well, I know that I have this grown man's prized possession in my, you know, under my wing, let me go to him man to man and be like, hey, you know, I'm with your daughter now and this is a situation. Have you ever like initiated conversation? Yeah, we had a conversation when me and Olivia first started dating. Like, very first thing, I, I wanted to talk to him. We had a conversation, and it wasn't a bad conversation. He wasn't mad. I wasn't mad. It, it really was not a bad conversation. He disagreed, but I felt like there was, like, mutual respect. I still personally feel like he will come around. I feel like he's just, I don't know what he said. I just feel like he's talking and doesn't have the information and he's just on the outside looking in. And then me also knowing how TikTok works, to be honest with you, what I think happened is that a lot of haters kind of ran to him with lies and made up a bunch of stuff. He and said he's watched y'all live. Hold on, hold on, he said he's watched y'all. Hold on, so that's fine. But I still feel like, I, f I still feel like the haters probably ran to him and was just saying a bunch of stuff. Oh, kind of the same, kind of the same way they did my brother. And my brother felt like he was defending something that I never said in the first place. I don't claim to be perfect, but like I said, I don't dodge anybody. I'm willing to talk to him man to man and just have a conversation. I get his position. I get his concern. I just personally don't father. I just don't know many fathers. Olivia, I wanted to ask you a question. Does your, does, does the way your father feel, does it not? I don't, I don't I don't know a lot of fathers that will go and publicly bash their daughter or even if they disagree with their daughter's decision making. He I just don't know. He was speaking very daughter. highly of Olivia. He wasn't okay. bashing her to to me. Okay. I come from that type of family, so I know what bashing is. But yeah. when her father was just online speaking to Karen, he spoke of her in a very like 
with very high standards. So you can tell that he was disappointed and obviously, you know, hurt by it. But Olivia, does like the way your father feel about your relationship, does that like bother you at all? Or, you know, that, you know, stuff like this is stuff that you're never going to be able to go back on and change. Like this changes people's perception of you forever. So I know you might not care about that in this moment. I know, but whose perception is it changing? The people that like, forget all the people on TikTok right now. We talking about people that know you in real life, like yeah. real life type shit. Yeah, I don't care. You don't care? No, I wouldn't care. Because you know, this internet shit is not real. Like it's not real. The internet is not real, it's fake. So when you have to go back to these people that you know in real life and you don't know none of these people on social media, it's going to be like, hey, and they're going to be like, oh, hey, you don't remember how, you know, you dissed us to, you know, be with whoever and whatnot? Who dissed anybody? I never had dissed anybody. Who did I Let's diss? not say diss, but like, <laughs> you know, when, you, when you're not on the same page with people and it kind of just stays like on that page, then like you're going to have to go back and rebuild those relationships, especially with your parents. Respectfully, I'm not here to be on the same page with everyone in my past and everyone that's not rooting for my success. I'm not on the same page with them. And I'm, I'm fine with that. That's how I would like it to be. Okay. I'm on the same page with people that want to support me and people that see the vision because we're going to help thousands of people. If you don't see the vision of that, I'm not here to convince I, small I see the vision, people. girl. I, I, see, I see the vision. I see the vision. Okay, now Shanice, because I was going to ask you if you knew your dad, but your dad made a grand appearance tonight, so I don't need to ask that. Shanice, how is your relationship with your father? Hi, Shanice, how you doing? You look pretty. You look real good, girl, as usual, as always. You know, you look real good, as always, girl. My, my um, relationship with my father and my stepfather are very good. That's good. That's good. Have they expressed, you know, their opinions on the relationship that you're in currently? Not exactly opinions. They, in regards to their concerns, it's just the fact that it's not what they're used to seeing. So of course they have questions, but they're not opposed whatsoever. They support me. They're not. They're not opposed. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. What uh, your your mom approves of, of the relationship? Like, do people that you know personally do they do do they approve? Yes. Okay. Good. Sean, what about you? Do you know your dad? Not, and I, I'm not trying to bring up no like this and like any statistic type dad. of way. I know my dad. He disagrees um, with he like the way that I'm actually, you know, executing. Um, he disagrees with like the dynamics of my relationship. Um, but he didn't like, you know, it wasn't like a big argument or anything. Like he just disagreed with it. Um, so I think for, again, people have a lot of misinformation. Uh, and they just see us with two, two, me with two women, and they just automatically want over actualize everything. Um, but to be honest with you, the way, I, the way I look at all of this, what I've learned in life is that the universe will, the universe will give you everything you ever ask for, but it always comes with a test. And it comes with a test to see if you really want what you say you want. So I feel like all of this noise and all the negativity is just a test to see like, hey, do I really want what I'm asking for? Um, a lot of the times, and entrepreneurs can really attest to this, and athletes can really attest to this, you get really, 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 really challenged right before a really big level up. And I feel like we're just about to take off like a rocket ship. Sure, I agree. And all this negativity is coming to see if this is what we really want, if that next level is what we really want. To me, to be honest, that's how I look at all this. Okay. All right. Olivia, back to you. So your dad had mentioned on the live that um, you said that your mother um, grew up, I don't want to say financially challenged or in poverty, somewhere along the lines of that. Uh, but he said that you were eating caviar all the time, um, that you traveled all over the place. Um, you know, you had your own car, this, that, and third. So um, what do you have to say about your dad saying that you're basically coming on the internet and lying about it. Amazing. Completely understand from his standpoint. Now, first on, I always said that I came from a low-income, single-mom household. 
Now, I'm not going to expose my mom's salary online, but if you search up what the American low income household median is and averages, that's my mom's income and even lower. So, she was low income. Let's talk about the caviar. The thing, <laughs> so the thing, I wasn't always eating caviar. My mom has never bought caviar. My mom works for rich people. And we used to, we used to live with the rich people, right? Because they would pay for the housing. And they would just, they would just cook meals together. We would eat together. They were Asian, so they would, we would all share meals. And they happened to buy caviar. It was not coming from my mom's pocket, but it was coming from their pocket because I happened to be in the same household. And that's how I was eating caviar. So when he says that I'm eating caviar all the time, he's not even telling the truth, first of all. Now let's talk about traveling. Again, my mom is making a low income household, like a low income. However, she had very low expenses because she never had, she did not have to pay rent. The work paid for her rent. That's exactly why she like stayed with that job for like almost over 10 years. So with that, she had a lot, she had a good amount of disposable income. Cause you can still have disposable income and you have $30,000. However, you know, you, you don't have a lot of expenses cause you're not paying rent. You see what I mean? So she wasn't paying rent. So she had a lot of extra disposable income. And like, I would say every now and then we went on like trips. We went to Bali, tickets to Bali are about $2,000. Um, tickets to France are about under $2,000. So since she's not paying rent, she had the ability to buy that. And my mom's an amazing woman. She's great. She wanted to give me all the best experiences. She wanted me to live a great life and I love her for that. Um, but that's basically how it worked. Okay. Um, listen, I know some people that grew up in, you know, some projects you know so um I'm not saying I'm like, they ain't never been a badly i was never dirt poor but there was even right. points where we couldn't right. even afford a mattress to sleep on so would you say that where you are right now would you say like the environment that you're in right now and versus like compared to the environment that was considered you know low income for you when you were growing up with your mother yeah. um would you say that there's a big difference in finance do you feel like you leveled up in in that sense yes you don't how? Wait, how, what? My environment or what are you talking like, about? Because um, basically, like, I've been seeing you guys come on here and Sean, I really appreciate the work that you're doing. You know, you say that you're giving back to single moms. I know that you guys just paid somebody's rent. You know, you're allowing people to come up on here and promote their businesses. And I know that you guys have individually your own businesses as well that you're working on. So, um, like, do you feel like where you are right now in this relationship is a, you know, an upgrade? Like, do you feel like this is like going to take you to where you want to go? That's a question for Olivia, correct? Correct. Oh, I thought it was for him. I was not, not listening. Can you repeat that? <laughs> I said from, okay, so you said you grew up in low income, right? And you, and right now you guys say that you make what, like 5,000, Sean said, I remember, cause you know, I'd be paying attention. You said that you would feel like a failure if you're not making 5,000 a day, right? No, five figures a month. Okay, something along the line. You're talking about Olivia. I'm just going to like reiterate the question that I asked Olivia. So do you feel like from where you were as a child to where you are, do you feel like you've upgraded? Like you, you've reached the point that you wanted to reach when it comes to like financial status, because if you're, you, it's about the money, that's what I'm getting. So do you feel like you're on your way there or are you there or is Sean financially providing for you the way that you've always wanted? It's not really about the money. I think it's more about the environment. I'm more of an environment that's going to push me to higher limits and does not suppress me. It's not that it's a rich environment. Rich does not mean money. It means abundant, right? So I feel like I'm in an environment of abundance and richness, aka. And, you know, back then when I was like with my mom and stuff like that, I would not say that's a rich environment. And what's the opposite of rich? Poor. And not poor financially. I'm saying that I was... I, I just couldn't reach my potential in that environment. Simply that's what it is. It's not just financially poor. Okay. 
So you next mind, question. You, go ahead. You mind if I ask something? I'm gonna ask something when you're done. Go ahead. Okay, great. Um, somebody told me to ask about y'all splitting rent, but the question I really wanted to ask y'all, I know we're not supposed to talk about this, so I'm gonna try to, you know, keep it PG. When y'all, you know, have fun, get spicy. Um, are y'all wrapping things up? Loaves. No. Oh. Okay. Um, you said you had a question for me. <laughs> yeah. So, as far as, like, I, I just, I hope anybody that's watching, man, I really hope you guys learn from this. And by learn from this, I mean, like, bro, just go after your dreams. I agree. Like, you guys are going to be, listen, I always say this, and some people may not get this. I always say this, but if you're watching right now, you might want to take notes because this will be, this will be one of the realest, coldest bars you ever hear in your life. I always say talent hits a target that nobody else can hit, but genius hits a target that nobody else can see. I'm going to say it again. Talent hits a target that nobody else can hit, but genius hits a target that nobody else can see. What's my point? When you create a vision for your life, you're creating a target that nobody else can see except for you. But it allows you to unlock your inner genius because there's 50,000 people here watching this. If you're watching this, I promise you, you have an inner genius in you. But when you come up with your vision, when you come up with your goals, people going to call you crazy. People going to doubt you. They're going to tell you it's never going to happen. You're going to be doubted by the people that you love the most. Mm -hmm. But it's a reason why the 1% are the 1%. If you want to be in the top 1%, you got to do what the other 99% are willing to do. Most people would rather stay in the comfort of their parents' advice than do what's uncomfortable and get the 1% result. Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to say you gotta- so Are you kind of low key admitting not, that you're doing this just to get- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to say you gotta do poly, but I'm saying the genius is in the principles, man. Some of you guys may want to be an engineer. Some of you guys may want to be a lawyer. Some of you guys want to be an entrepreneur. And your parents may be like, hey, don't do that. Go this way. But you gotta chase your dream. So I'm gonna say it again. Talent hits a target that nobody else can hit. But genius hits a target that nobody else can see. And when you have a strong vision for your life, you're creating a target that nobody else can see except for you. And people are gonna call you crazy, but it's gonna allow you to unlock your inner genius. And if you guys get that, you guys will understand one of the biggest secrets to success. Because when I was in the military and I told people I'm gonna start making 20,000 a month, people call me crazy. When I quit that job that I was making 20,000 a month and said I'm gonna start my own business and start making six figures a month, people call me crazy. When I said I was gonna start doing poly, like people said it wouldn't work. And when I sit up here and tell y'all I'm gonna become a billionaire, I'm going to help families all over America and I'm gonna build the most beautiful and powerful family America's ever seen, people call me crazy. But you guys are gonna find out what I already know because I'm so stubborn on my vision that it allows me to unlock my inner genius. People thought Elon was crazy when he started putting people on Mars. And that's what you guys got to get. So I hope that you guys take this as some sort of motivation. You don't have to do poly, but go after your dreams and realize people are going to doubt you. It comes with the territory. Keep going, keep pounding. Okay? All of the negative talk, you guys got to go and look me up, man, on Sean, on Instagram. Sean underscore Tim just the one with the blue check. Her, her dad, whatever, everybody's doubting me. And I don't claim to be a perfect man. I still have my struggles to this day. But you can go and look me up on Instagram. Sean underscore Tim Scrimes is the one with the blue check. Look at my highlight. It's called Lifestyle. You can see what I've been up to for the last two years. Also, look at my testimonials and the people that I've actually like helped. And guys, why do I take all the backlash? Because if I got to go through a million haters to help one person become a millionaire, to help one person change the trajectory of their whole life and take care of their family, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make any sacrifice that I need to make. And y'all going to call me crazy. But 10 years from now, y'all going to be like, wow, he put so many people on. He helped so many people out. He helped so many single moms. He built churches. He built communities. He did all that. And I can't do it alone. Cause I could never achieve my mission without my queens. That's just to be completely transparent, right? They allow me to focus. They allow me to do great things. And all we want to do is good in the world. Have we trolled people? Yes. Have we got passionate? But who have we really, who have we 
really disrespected? What have we done that's been so bad? Like, I can see if this man's daughter was on OnlyFans or or do like a, a stripping in a club or doing any of that, but she's not doing none of that. She's still working on her business, so I don't understand why it triggers people so bad. So I just want to like you're not really leading her. He said you're not really leading her as a man. You're disrespectful. I don't know what's that word exploitation. Maybe along the lines of exploiting Olivia because she's still young and she don't know better. Um, I'm 24, so I, I can definitely tell you at 20, but like, here's the, girl, here's the, you don't know shit. Not a not thing, no, nothing. I, and I, this internet shit is forever. So right. when you 24, 25, you know, trying to say. Oh, I'm just look. I, I don't. I want to disassociate myself from that part of my past. Like that wasn't me. I was just going through things. People are gonna remember that about you forever. Well, like re that won't happen. Re remember what? Like what are they gonna remember that she dated a guy? Like what did Olivia do that's so wrong? Please tell me. There are people on TikTok that go around saying that they're getting fired for just doing a regular funny TikTok at their job. So say. We don't Olivia is attaching we herself to this and she wants to go work for a professional company or something like that. They're going to be able to look up. We, we don't do the job thing. That will never happen. We run our own companies. I, you're not going to catch her at a job. That's crazy. <laughs> Like that's in the, the middle of a recession? We don't, we don't, I don't even know how to write a resume. I don't even know. I, I can't even that. spell resume. I don't that is not, not something to brag word. about. You say what? That's not something to brag that about. That is something to brag about. What do you mean? That is something to brag about. Like you do, that is, guys, listen, if, if everybody is doing something, it's not designed to make you super successful. If everybody's doing it, that's the quickest way to be mediocre. Right. You, you guys got to like learn to create your own path. I'm not telling you to do anything wrong. I'm not telling you to do that, but you got to learn to pave your own way. You guys got to learn to expand your vision, man, because a lot of y'all, a lot of people give up on their dreams because of their parents. Like I, this guy, her pops is going and talking, but I haven't seen, he's worried about me buying her some shoes, but he's not talking about how we paying single mom's rent. Which one's more important? Mr. Appleberry, I hope they clip this up and show it to you. Would you rather me buy your daughter some red bottoms or help a single mom, help a family? Because Olivia said, yo, forget the red bottoms, King. I don't care, I don't care about that. Hey, we, we, we. Olivia, you should not be letting Sean. Uh, we, we're you trying not we're let him do that to your dad. We're trying to help people all over the world. Speaking of helping people all over the world, man, listen, man, we want to give you guys some free game. If you guys are watching this, you got a 700 plus credit score. You got a crazy vision. You want to do big things in your life. We want to give you strategy that you can take and use and implement to improve your life. Uh, with that being said, if you got a 700 plus credit score, you want to learn to make 10 to 15,000 a month. I literally teach you guys this for free every single day. DM me on Instagram, Sean on the screen, T on the screen. I just want the blue check. DM me a uh, free game and I'll teach you for free how to make 10 to $15,000 a month. I'll never ask you for your credit card. I'll never ask you for money online and I only got one account. And for my guys out there, you got a really, 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 really big dream or maybe you don't even have the dream yet, but you know, you just be at work and you feel something in your spirit. You're just like, man, I'm meant for more than this. If you're watching this and you want help creating your vision, you really want somebody to show you the roadmap to have massive success, if you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore mentor. And I'll personally reach out to you and see if my mentorship is a great fit for you, man, because we need more leaders. We need more people that's willing to go after their dreams in this world. And unfortunately, y'all, some of y'all friends, some of y'all family are going to be your biggest naysayers. But you know what? This is when they forgive you. When you go become a millionaire and you like, hey, pops, I'm going to pay for your mortgage. You ain't never got to worry about nothing again. That's when they're going to come around. And it's the best I told you so moment ever. Because why they sitting there throwing dirt on your name, you're going to be the one to go and end those generational curses. Mm -hmm. So again, with that being said, 700 plus credit score, you want to learn to make 10 to $15,000 a month for free, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adam, just to want the blue check. For my guys, man, if you you literally, you like, man, I do it. I'm, 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 I'm thick, bro. I, you're right, man. We, we got to go for more. DM me, mentor, if you got a 700 plus credit score, Sean underscore T underscore Adams, man. Listen, man. Get your vision right, get your dreams right, make your dreams come true. Do not let anybody kill your dreams, ever. Any other questions you have for us? Uh, no, I really appreciate your guys' time. You know, I, regardless of, I just want you guys to be safe. Ladies, I want y'all to be safe, okay? Yeah. And I want y'all yeah. to just use your intuition, that's all. Your intuition is never gonna steer you wrong, okay? You're, you're dealing with a narcissist. But, all right, y'all have a good one, bye. I don't know how to get kicked off.
Libra. Kayla. Who's that? I don't know. I don't if know. You want to, babe, That's okay. Show my body. But how's everyone doing? Sean, you look nice. Love the jacket. Looks so cute. Anyways. Okay. Y'all see me? I see you. Yes. Yeah. I, a Shanice, you are 29 years old. How do you feel knowing that you are not enough for Sean? That you solely being yourself was not enough for him? Remember that? That's first of all a lot. She's more than enough for me. She brought so much peace, love, and joy into my life. So that's completely false. Okay, if she if she brought all of that to your life, not if. why? Yeah, there's no if. I just told you exactly what it was. There's no if. There's no if. Okay, cool. How, Shanice, if, you're if, from, you from Virginia, yeah, right? Be, huh? I was talking to Shanice. Uh, Olivia, you're from Virginia, correct? Yes. Miss Ma'am. I said Olivia. Are you you're from Virginia, correct? Yeah, no, the question was for me. And I'm, I'm just to answer your question. And no point in time will I ever feel inadequate. You don't feel inadequate. No. <laughs> That's nice though. Olivia, you're from Virginia, right? Nova, specifically. I feel like most people don't know about Nova. Nova is like a richer part of Maryland. I mean, a richer part of Virginia, closer to Maryland area, right? So you didn't grow up in like a impoverished area. You weren't around people who didn't have money because I know those people up there, they got money and a lot of it at the same time, right? Were you paying attention to the last person that came up? No, we're from the same city. I know the people she know. I know people no, she went high school with. The last, the last person that was just on here. Hmm? Were you paying attention to the last girl that was on here? Kind of. Not really. I was kind All right. of just... All right. Well, go ahead. Because Olivia already addressed this. That's why. You're so angry, Sean. Calm down. I'm, I'm not, not mad at you. I, I'm li listen, I, I get you want to ask your questions, but here's my thing. There's 47,000 people here, and they did not get up here to see you ask the, the questions and then Olivia get the exact same answer that the person before you came with all due respect when you've already been on the show There's a lot of people that try to get up so here. So I'm just trying to hold on, hold on hold on. I'm just trying to be respectful to everybody. That's it. It's no disrespect to you Okay, so Sean you took Olivia's virginity Question mark I'm asking at this point What'd you say? Okay I said, do you know how value, valuable a virginity is to a woman? You have lost your virginity, correct, right? Wait, 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 question. How did we go from Virginia to virginity? I thought we were on Virginia first. Because Sean told me that you already answered that and that it was like not a good question, right, so you don't. What's your, what's, your, what's your question? I'm asking her, did you take her V card? Like, did you do that? I can neither confirm nor deny details of that operation nor any other operation without approval from the secretary. Good God. Okay, so that made sense to y'all. I guess it didn't make sense to me, but we're gonna move on past that point. Um, so you know how you being 30 years old, you have like 10 years on Olivia at this point. Mm -hmm. 10 years of experience, getting to know people and whatnot. And so it's the same thing, but like you you can laugh and joke about it and be all happy and up and down. Like that's actually concerning. Like you are a grown man that can have a like a simple conversation without getting upset when people are calling you out on your BS. Shanice, you being the grown woman here in this situation is actually comical because you know what it's like to be a 20 year old girl who doesn't have any experience, who doesn't know much about life at all. Cause you know that you at 20 and 29, two different people, would you agree? They're not the same person. Do you agree? They're not even close to the maturity that you were at that age. And you know, you being a woman know like, oh yeah, once you, your first person that you're generally with is the person that you get immediately connected to. And that, oh yeah, I feel this person, I would let them do this, that, and the third because you don't know better. You don't have experience from previous relationships. So you being here complicit in the relationship is almost like you're grooming her as well. Olivia, you think you know a lot, but you don't know much of anything because you are you are young. I'm 21, you're 20. You are, would be a sophomore in college right now, the same age as my brother. And I know that nigga, he dropped me insane that he don't know anything at all. But he's learning, he's figuring out. Right now he wouldn't get married because he doesn't know anything. Good thing I'm not your brother. I'm, 
You, he's an AK. He's a and uh, what's it? He's a Q. You couldn't be him. He's going to be successful. But okay, let's put that. Let's do statistics. A black man, a black woman significantly out earns a black man. Correct? You know this. You we all know this. Black women do significantly better than black men do in the world right now. Yes. So who's profiting off of this situation? It's the only so who's profiting off of this situation? You, Sean. Right. And you talk about a sisterhood. Do you, I know Olivia doesn't have friends. We established this already. Shanice, you have friends. So what sisterhood are you gaining from this if y'all don't even like each other? And Olivia, I don't understand your makeup. It literally bothers me because if you all this money, why won't he take you to get your foundation matched? Bro, get your foundation matched. You, you look sickly. Honestly, you're 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And I, and I talk to your father as well. Um, but I talked to your dad as well. He seemed like a really sweet, genuine guy. And then you denounced the Lord. You also denounced the Lord. And you're a Christian. Like, I'm a pagan. This is not my shit at all. I'm not religious. You denounce God in so favor of a man. And that's him after all, all are Christians. Right. That's scary as a well. <laughs> and you, can, you, you can laugh, you can joke, but you know I'm right. But Livia, you don't know anything because you're the child in a situation. Right, I'm the child in a situation. And then I baited Sean earlier just to see what he was going to say about the whole like get rich quick scheme that he was going on. You're telling people to get loans when they don't even know what credit is. You're like you're so, it's so easily. It's like you can't you can't help anybody if you can't help yourself. You're 30 years old, but you haven't accomplished much anything. Olivia, you still have a car note. You said that before, like, oh yeah, I pay her cardo or something like that. So you don't even have assets. And a person who has real wealth, and I know people with wealth, they don't live in apartments, they have houses. Well, your house said, you're in an apartment, you're renting, you're paying a white man your money, but you don't even own anything for yourself. That's scary. You can spin around in circles, but you know it's true. And then the thing is, Shanice, they're gonna like you at the end of the day because you're calm and you speak well. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Well. Yo, can you, can you, you say you know a lot of wealthy people, correct? Yeah. Tell me the wealthy person that says buying a house made me rich. I wait. Why do I need? Why do you need to know that? It is, it's no, common no, sense. No, 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 no. Because you're investment. You're a listen, house is an investment. You, what is an apartment? You, you need to own this. Hold on. Could you tell me the person in the world? Tell me the millionaire. Tell me the billionaire that says my house made me rich. I can't. I can't give it to you, top hand, babes. I don't know. Right, you can't give it to me, top hands, because it don't exist. I don't know why y'all think buying a house all of a sudden. Listen, listen, listen. This is what they don't teach you about y'all buying a house. When you buy a house, it's literally a lien against your income that's backed by your house. It's backed by your house, meaning the bank owns a part of your income for the next thirty years. And if you don't make your payment, they will literally take your house. You guys think that that's like the smartest thing to wealth, do. If you have wealth, then you don't have to worry about it or cash flow, as you say. You don't have to worry about your house getting taken. What the hell? That's and, uh, two plus two is equal to thirty-seven, and we're trying to make it equal four, and you're not allowing it to equal four, and I'm just not understanding. It's just like you hear yourself talk. Olivia doesn't know that what you're saying is BS. Shanice knows to an extent, but then you told her. You also told Shanice. That she's feeding the internet. Like you literally you smelled this girl's feet. Tell me the, just tell me one person in the history of America that said my house made me rich. Please tell me one person that says, oh, buying a house made me wealthy. Just tell me one example. Just pull up. No, listen, there's so much YouTube. There's so many billionaires giving out advice. Please go tell me the one billionaire that's like, buying a house made me wealthy. Do you think renting makes you wealthy? Do you think renting is an investment? Also, you know, one thing about penthouses that I do know that you can buy them. You can actually own them. You don't even own this one. And if you're making so much money, why I wouldn't allow someone to come in my personal space and then rent it on a peer space. That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it may, it may make sense to you, but it doesn't make sense to anybody else other than you. And I, I get, I don't get it. Like, I'm trying to get it, but I don't. I don't. Like, his man has smelled you, corrected you, told you. He's literally parented you, Olivia, in front of other people. 50,000 people have watched this man parent you as just if you were a child. Oh, take this epis gum. So why your feet stink? Emma, bro, bro, she needs, he showed your whole coochie on live at one point. And I know me, I don't wear underclothes. Like, I don't wear bras. Respect, I don't yo, wear underwear. My man knows. If he picks me up, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out.
Respect TikTok's rules. You can throw your rants, but respect TikTok's rules. We got 50,000 people watching and we don't need to get like it ended because you can't control like the things that come out of your mouth. So if you're going to go on these little tyrants, respect the rules. Okay, I won't go on. Sorry, I will respect King um, Sean. So as I was saying, if you respect these women so much and respect women as an entirety, instead of getting on live and screaming at women when they don't agree with you, Listen, and instead of getting, oh, so mad, Shonda, you can't compete with Shonda. That's a real millionaire. You are actually losing your mind. And then you smelled Olivia's feet and her breath, told her her breath stink. And then I Shanice. Never told, I never told her her breath stink. If you got to keep feeding me gum, then my breath stink. Maybe it's simple. It's to, no, maybe it's to keep it fresh. Maybe she just got through eating. Maybe she asked you, me for a piece of gum. You don't know what's going on. You're just you looking at it from your perspective. You keep saying that we're flipping up and people are flipping up. They can't do a whole lot. It's like you're all on YouTube. Bro, people listen, are profiting off of you. You should probably you're, you're, I know that. Even, even our haters, this is the funny thing about y'all. Even our haters make money off of us. Y'all say we don't teach nobody to do nothing. But we have helped so many people monetize their YouTube just from clipping us up. Bro, this is the stuff that y'all like. This is this is what I'm saying, you man. You are, guys you see us? A lot of listen, 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 listen. listen you, we do, we do, we do a lot for people. We can do more for people. We will do more for people. And the only, the worst thing you guys have seen us do is troll somebody and me get amped up talking about business and me get passionate talking about business. I haven't cussed anybody out. We haven't threatened anybody. We haven't done any of that. And you you guys get so upset. Why? We're upset because you're. We think you're grooming a child. That's what we're thinking. We think you, and then we don't think you found women that are strong enough. Like Olivia, I'm not gonna call you out. Or Nishanis. Actually, I am. So when you're conventionally. You said, you know, that there are people that grew up worse than you. That's not what I said. I said, why are you acting as if you grew up with a bad upbringing? Like if you grew up struggling and stuff when you was in Bali. I have never said that. I have never said that I grew up in very bad conditions. I said, always when I tell my story, I grew up in a low income household. Cause if you Google what the average low but when you say nobody's googling googling low income medians and things like that when you say things like i grew up in a low income like you people think projects people think trenches people think oodles and noodles so when you say stuff huh my fault that they interpreted it as projects no, that's not you missing the whole thing it's not the way that people are interpreting it it's the way that you're pushing it it's what you're saying respectfully that has nothing to do with me. The fact is a fact. If you search up low income, average low income, like I and even, okay, that, like, even even I, I'm I'm never going to search that up because I understand what you're doing. You just don't understand it. Another question I have because even when you explained it, when you were talking about your mom, yeah, we went to Bali, yeah, we went to Turkey, but my mom had to work extra hours and we lived at the house for free, so she had extra money for us to go. Like, what kind of how you say some shit like that about your? You basically just said your mama made a way for you, but it wasn't enough. Cause you won't sell a story on live. That, that, those words never came out of my mouth, and that's my fault if I communicated it in that way. Communicated it in that way for you to interpret it like that. No, if that I literally that that's the way that I and sixty two thousand other people interpret it because that's the way that you relay relay the message. That's what you said. So when people I hear that, it, huh? I said, actually, I agree with you um, on that. We, we definitely can't communicate that better. And I think you should move forward. Just, you know, yes, okay. explain it. Um, you know, we none of us are perfect. We're all on live. Sometimes we have missteps. We never like try to make it seem like something that it's not like we just try to be like as authentic as possible. Um, so you're right. I think we can provide more clarity on exactly what that looks like because that could be misinterpreted and we're getting better. She's not the only one. I'm the main one that needs to improve on this because I say a lot of stuff that gets like misinterpreted. So mm -hmm. I agree. we can we can improve our communication skills and moving forward. We will. Okay, Sean, that was really cute. Now, since you have something to say, I want to move on to you. So I just, 
you know, I just always feel like you need a lot of healing. Like when I look at you, I just see this broken man that's using whoever and whatever he can to get to the next level. And whenever people talk about business, I realize that's what strikes a nerve. Now you, out of everybody, I really feel like you come from nothing because your desire not to win, but your desire to prove that you're a winner. Listen to, listen to what I'm saying, because that's a huge difference. Your desire to show people that, hey, I'm not who you thought I was. Hey, I'm a winner. Hey, despite everything that you tried to throw at me, I won. That yeah. desire is, yeah. is stemming from somewhere. And I believe that it stems from you not having anything. But what I, I believe, I, I believe I that, agree with that. Well, wherever it's, it's coming from some broken place, because the fact that you have a 20 year old and you're 33 and then you have Shanice in a corner. Hey, Shanice. What? I'm not 33. 30, 33, you up there. You up there. Come on. It's okay. You up there. You up there. Next thing that I'm going to say, I'm a senior citizen. <laughs> It's, it's, it, and you know what? Honestly, it's not even the polygamous relationship that because it's like, whatever, do whatever you want. You know, y'all grown, whatever. The issue with this relationship is the fact that all I see is a narcissistic man like taking advantage of women that don't know their work, that don't know who they are. And you can say all day, oh, they know who they are, da, 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 da. But just as everybody else who's older than 20 has said on this live, you don't know who you are at 20. I'm 25 and I'm still figuring it out. But one thing I have figured out is that in order for a man to lead you properly, he has to have led himself somewhere. So my question to you is, where have you led yourself other than this live? Like what, just like the question I asked before, like how do you feel like you are beneficial to these women? Because I get how they're beneficial to you. I see the 61,000 people. I know we get paid from this live. That's why we got a show. I get it. But what I'm trying to figure out is how are you an asset to them? Other than you giving them information and free game and all like, not the bullshit, the real, re like, how are you really an asset to them? And you said something, the girl said something about um, purchasing a house and you kept asking her who has got, who got rich buying a house. Like, that's what, like, you twisted what she was saying because what she was saying is if you did have, if, if you did accumulate the wealth that you say you have, then you would have a house. You wouldn't be renting because then you would know that it's it's, it's cheaper to just buy a house than to rent. But so that's another in, story for another day. So we live in San Diego. So a million dollar house is like a four bedroom house. Like, How are you an asset to these women's lives other than this live? All right. Just let me know when it's my turn to talk. Go ahead, your turn. All right, so first of all, I never claim to be wealthy. Being rich and being wealthy are two different things. It's easy to make a million dollars a year. To have assets that pay you a million dollars a year takes a lot of sacrifice, which is why we do delayed gratification. So we don't upgrade the lifestyle from the income that we make from our business. We take all the money and invest it into stuff. The only time we're gonna upgrade the lifestyle is through income that's create generated from the assets that we buy because we do want to get wealthy because you can make a million but if you spend a million and then for whatever reason your income goes down is you got to somehow maintain that lifestyle but once you have the cash flow every single month it's indestructible and honestly i've sacrificed so much every what is the vision here sean what is the vision here you always talking about the vision we need to see the vision what is the vision because i want to see it i'm trying to see it Here's the vision, super cool. It's it's cool to sit and be, uh, and, and be by the Padres stadium, but uh, I wanna be the owner. I don't wanna sit courtside at the Lakers. I wanna own the team. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do great things. And more than that, we're gonna empower the communities all over America. So do you think that you are the type of person that will own, a, do you think you are the type of man that can lead anything? And this is not, this has nothing to do with the polygamous relationship. This has everything to do with who I have uh, um, judged you to be as a person. So I'm asking you, do you honestly think like somebody with any real sense will let you lead them? Because even when you promoting your business on here, and I honestly think that 
you have like some skill, but I think that your character is going to get in the way of that talent that you was talking about, being a genius and all that. Like your character is going to stop whatever plans that God has for you because you're very manipulative. You're very narcissistic. You're sitting here praying on this little girl and this little grown woman. Like, Hello, yeah. grown woman. So I, I see why you say that. And to be honest, I'm like a project. I don't have it all figured out. And the beautiful thing about me is I actually know that I don't have it all figured out. And I do a lot of self-development every single day. So and do you understand why that's a problem, though? You're a project wanting more projects. How are you going to be an asset to anybody? How are you going to help anybody if you have not yet helped yourself? How are you gonna how are you gonna be, bring any healing to these women's lives if you have not healed the shit going on in your heart? Is it my turn to talk? Yeah, it's always your turn. As soon as I drop the mic. You drop the mic? You look like you rocked the mic. What you doing dropping the mic? I dropped the mic, baby. Come on with it. Oh, man, come on now. Don't drop the mic. Anyways, I digress. Um I feel like I've achieved a lot of things. And again, for anybody that thinks that's like, who is this guy? Sean underscore T underscore Adams. Go look the at- The one with the check. The one with on, the blue check. On, we heard it. Hold on. Go look at lifestyle. If you go look at the, the highlight that says lifestyle and testimonials, and you think that I'm not legit, I don't know what to like tell you. At that point, just never listen to me again, but at least go and look. And mind you guys, I've never tried to sell anybody on here anything. I think, that, I, think that I, have, I think that I have achieved what 99% of people in the world will never achieve. And the crazy thing is I'm not even 1% of the man that I'm going to become. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I feel like I'm very qualified and I feel like anybody that doubts my qualifications to give out free advice um, you should go to, to to my Instagram and look at You know what, Sean? You always, another thing I realized about you is you always talk about how people doubt you. Please, please. We please. heard the Shanti Adams, the one with the check. We get it. But listen, go and check out my highlights. Listen, people are tagged. The poster tag. I've been shouted out by billionaires. Please go and look, man. And I get that you guys have an opinion on me, and I and I totally get that. I've won awards. I've won contests. I've helped people all over the country, and I'm continuing to help people. I have people that actually absolutely crush it. You guys have seen business owners. You guys have seen me help business owners just sell out in minutes. You guys have seen me help single moms. So I don't claim to be perfect. I know I got a lot of work to do. I agree with you. I can improve my communication. I can improve my character. Do I think I'm a bad guy? No. Do I think I can handle no situations? No one said you was a bad guy. Do I think that I can handle situations better? Absolutely. I think we all could. But the beautiful part is I actually know that and I'm working every day to improve that. And at the end of the day, I still don't understand why people get so triggered because the only thing we try to do is help you guys level up in life. Okay, Sean. That was a lot. That, that was the motivational speech, okay? The first thing I want to say is that if you were actually taking those steps towards growth and towards self-awareness and all this that you say that you are, the first thing that you would have did was drop those women. That's the first thing. Second of all, so you keep saying, my, you keep talking mind. about what you've done and what you've accomplished. I'm not one of those people that judge people based off what they've done, how much money they have. I judge you off of what I've seen. And what I've seen is a narcissistic man that needs healing and that is preying on women, the insecurities of women to stroke his own ego. I like your t-shirt. You don't have on a faha today. Love that for you. But that's what's going on. Like, it's like a waist trainer. You know those tight sh shirts you wear. It be giving faha. <laughs> that's pretty BBL to me. Yeah, it be giving BBL for sure. But that's, that's <laughs> definitely, and you know what? I'm honestly telling you this because I, I see the vision, but I don't see it the way that you see it. What I see happening is I see Olivia growing a platform off of this. I see Shanice growing a platform off of this, and they're both going to leave you in the mud when they do.
Okay. I know it's like whatever, but that's not why you're here. You're here because you see the vision. You think this shit is gonna blow. You first think this all, this is this all, is the way all, we done struck. First of all, <laughs> I'm married to my mission. I'm not like I am not worried about like any particular woman. If a woman feels like my, the relationship is no longer serving her, I wish you well. And you're right. They do have a platform. You're right. They can go create their own business and do their own brand. They can do that's so much. To do. me, that's, that's, that's a benefit. That's listen, a benefit. Sean, listen, Sean. Listen, Sean. Real this real free game. Like this real trenches talk. I know you say you from the trenches, but listen, when you, you know how they say, never give a dog a bone, never give a woman a platform. Listen, listen, they do have their own platforms. They have all of that. That is so great. And I want to, well, you would not, listen, listen, I'm going to just, I'm going to just make this very simple. If a queen or a girlfriend or whatever that I'm dating feels like I'm not the best guy on the planet to help her reach her potential, I actually tell her to leave me because I only want a woman aligned with me if she feels like I'm the best guy on the planet to help her reach her potential. The day that's no longer true for Olivia, please leave me because I'm no longer the best thing that for you in your eyes. And if you really love somebody, you want them to be happy, whether it's with you or without you. And I want them to be happy, whether it's with me or without me. And it's always going to be that way. Well, if it's true that you not Olivia a V card all uh, first, then that's not going to happen with her until she have men to compare you to. Or unless she grow the platforms and get in her so bag and be her a rich, a real straight. rich because man or a real wealthy man. Yeah, so let me let me get this straight. Because Olivia she doesn't, laughing. So, she don't even know. Girl, somebody go put your ass, ass up. Ass. I have a serious question. How come us at like black women can't just get love right the first time? Why is trauma and going through trauma a <laughs> Sean, you want this girl first time to get love right to be with you and another woman? Are you out your fucking mind? That is so, that is so, that is, that is the narcissistic trait that I'm talking about. You, you just said, why does the first time, what the hell? That's the truth, man. What are you talking about? It's the narcissistic trait. That's the truth. Olivia. <laughs> nonchalant to me like it be given like you don't really care at all but which one of y'all he made cry the other day who was crying somebody was crying huh i say you tell me i don't know i don't watch y'all like that i do a look a look here and there now i don't 
watch y'all like that how do you feel about sean saying that y'all um y'all don't work jobs but you work a job right i have a contract <laughs> I am obligated to serve. Um, and I'm not saying that to bash anything because I absolutely love what I do. Um, but other than that, yeah. That's that's just about it. It's not it's not for them, it's not for them. Mm. That, wasn't, that wasn't your initial question. Uh -uh. No, my, you know what? I always have a lot of questions for you and they always just kind of go out. I don't know. It's just always giving blah. But with you being 29, how do you feel being in this? Like, how do you really feel? Because I know you say you don't feel inadequate. Da, 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 da. But how do you feel like knowing that Sean is, you know, giving himself to somebody else and you know, I basically, I don't want to say the question that everybody else says, like, how, how do you feel with him, like, making you feel like you're not enough or whatever. But that's basically basically what I and everybody else probably get from this is that you're not enough. I, I, I got the question. So, um, in regards to my relationship with my love, we had an initial discussion. We planned on adding women into our dynamic. And maybe... Um, you know, since you just started watching, like that's that was the that was the goal. We wanted to add more women to the to the dynamic. Now, okay, what, so what do you get that the vision is like outside of what Sean has made y'all think? What what have you gathered that the vision is like? What's your vision for this? Because you and you Olivia's not gay, so y'all not do y'all. It's not like you getting anything out of this. So, what's your vision? Okay, so. In regards to what that looks like has evolved over time. I understand that Olivia does not like women. That is completely fine. Regardless, like that, it wouldn't have, we, we are completely platonic. Um, so when, when it comes to adding more women to our dynamic, we, or at least I prioritize a woman being an asset or someone being an asset rather than physical play. I care about them actually, like, uh, one, pushing us, pushing each other to our highest potential and investing into deals together, creating generational wealth. Okay, so the that, other question that I had. That is what my idea of this relationship And I got a question for you. Thank you so much for that. Go ahead. What's the question? You. What is more intimate, building with the woman or sleeping with her? Which one do you think is a deeper connection? Um, I definitely think building, but uh, sleeping with the woman is, you know, honestly, I think sleeping. I'll, I'll go ahead on and say sleeping because like it, like it depends. You know, that's a tricky question. No, you ask no, me a not. question. Let me answer the question. Go ahead, go ahead. When you have go sex, you are spiritually tying your soul to someone else's. So even if Shanice never gets in a bed while y'all are having sex, y'all are having threesomes. So... You know, I that that's a very tricky question. And, and and honestly, when you talk about building, you have to talk about like authentically building. Like this is not building. This is narcissism. This is a game. This is a live. This is Olivia Apple 221 or whatever her thing is. This is a joke. Like this is let's get some money off these people. This is not build. This is not going anywhere. So, so, so I'm gonna just say this. In my opinion, I feel like building with the woman is a lot more intimate than sleeping with her because women sleep with guys on the first date. Cool. Women are not coming with guys on the first date and saying, let's build generational wealth. So for me, what generational like, wealth have y'all oh, built oh, so oh, far? Please just, just listen. I feel like building with the woman and it took me 28 years to learn this. I feel like building with a woman is the most intimate thing that a man can do. For me, I'm not sticking parts of me inside of any woman unless we build them together. I don't have physical pleasure outside of my relationship. If I'm not building with a woman, I'm not sleeping with her. That's just me, personally. It just feels very low vibrational. Um, and then number two, I just wanna say, when I met Olivia, she had 22,000 followers on TikTok. She had 893 followers on Instagram. And she was 17 years oh, old. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
she don't forget that even, part. She didn't even she didn't even know what business credit or any of that stuff was. She's 20 years old with an AMX Platinum. She has almost 200,000 followers on TikTok. She has over almost 8,000, going on 8,000 followers on Instagram. And she's been offered eight TV shows and we only been together for seven <laughs> months. Not to mention, we've been able to help single moms all over the country. We've been able to help small business owners. We've been able to give out thousands, thousands of people information on how they can go and add strategy to their life so they can make more money because she wanted to help people with generational wealth. Can I say something so, before so, I forget? Hold on, hold on, hold on. And it's only been seven months. So gotcha. I personally feel like we've built a lot. I personally feel like she's gained a lot from our being in this relationship. And I, I know I've gained a lot, a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, a lot of peace, a lot of like appreciation and gratitude because for the longest time, Olivia and Shanice allowed me to do something that eluded me for 30 years, which was a family that I can call my own. And a family that I'm very like, a very Cut it out. Oh my God. You need to accept the TV show role. So I feel like personally, we built a lot. And I think when you look at a decade from now, the stuff that we're gonna do, you guys are gonna be like, man, they call, we call them crazy. But they really put no for community. You said that last time. All right. So this is what I have to say about that. You just named all these great things that you guys have accomplished for Olivia together, right? What that sounds like is that you're building Olivia, which goes back to what I said. You're going to build her and she's going to leave you. What have you benefited from the relationship? How have you grown? Yeah, I, we always, and that's why we got together. We've always, we've got the same mission. We want to get wealthy. And true wealth isn't about money. True wealth is about impact on people. And I feel like we've positively impacted so many people. I know we get a lot of haters, but haters are benefiting from us too. They clip us up, they monetize the YouTube channel. Like there's a lot of entertainment. There's people that really support us. There's people we give a lot of advice to. So I feel like we're achieving the dream. Okay, so I want to say something else to you that, that you're not seeming to get. There's influence, there's impact, and there's entertainment. This for a lot of people is entertainment, which means once you guys start getting off live, like some people are really fans and they'll try to keep in touch with Shanice. They'll try to keep in touch with Olivia. Very few people will try to keep in touch with you and go to Sean under T Adams, the one with the blue check. That's like, I'm. if, if, if you have this vision, like I want you to be realistic re with it because like people are not on here because you're putting on for the community or you're doing all these great things. Cause that's not, you're on here doing you're not on here you giving to pregnant women right. don't try to take the subject it's a fireworks show on oh, no, gotta be quick sorry it was fireworks we got distracted go <laughs> ahead they have a concert down there going um oh, but so cool. <laughs> but i know it is crazy but um um i feel like you, you can say that but only time will tell and time honestly I, tell. I don't i don't want i know as a guy what comes with the territory and society kind of attacks guys How like you, you don't really know see a lot what comes with the territory if you've never accessed the territory all right you're right hmm. i'm asking a question i'm trying to understand uh, these I'm things these I'm are questions I'm that people don't ask and i'm trying to understand uh, sean i'm literally trying to tell you so it comes with the territory i know people that have been in the nba i know people that are are like super successful i know people that are like famous so like i see i've seen it it comes with the territory as like when you kind of like put yourself out there uh as men we kind of like to cancel men we like to attack men you don't really see a lot of women get canceled and i'm not trying to like play victim but to be honest with you i'm not really trying to be liked by anybody at the end of the day the people that rock with me they do the people that don't they don't I'm going to be authentically me, and as long as I know that I'm helping people, that's all that matters at the end of the day. I don't claim to be perfect. If I wanted to be liked by everybody, I would sell ice cream. As a leader, you got to be willing to be unliked, and I'm okay with that. As a leader, you have to be open to constructive criticism. 61,000 people are not saying the same thing about you because we don't like you. I actually do like you, and I actually do think that there's a lot of room to grow. I think that once you get out of your ego, that you are going to grow into the man that you envision yourself being, but I don't think you're going to do it with seven women. I don't think you're going to do it as this egotistical, narcissistic man that you are now. And to say... 
uh, what did you just say about men getting on platforms? That's not true because there are men that do the same thing that you do. Look at Diddy. Like, did nobody, don't nobody hate Diddy. We love Diddy. And Diddy is, is, is big industry. So it's like, you know, it's you. It's the character that you've shown on these lives. It's, it's your person. Olivia's, Olivia's not online with her clothes off. Shanice is not online with her clothes off. Shanice is a very classy lady. Olivia is a very classy lady. So why, what, like, how much more powerful could it be than a 20-year-old phenom who runs a multi-six-figure company? How much more well, confident? And that brings me back earlier to the I'm shot you more, threw no, 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 at no, no, no. strippers. Just, no, I'm let like, me say what I got I'm to like say. More, and tell bro, Olivia comes to because she be playing how with much, the phone. How much more confident? Um, Shanice travels around the world saving people, doing humanitarian work. She's beautiful. She's she fit. She was doing that she, before she met hold you. Hold on. She's beautiful. She's fit. She's feminine. You're right. She was doing that before me. Olivia is a freaking prodigy. She studied up under a Forbes 50 under 50 entrepreneur for three years. She runs her own company. She is beautiful. She's not online taking her clothes off. So explain to me how much more confident of a woman I can go out and get and what about them is insecure. Please make it make sense. Let me make it make sense for you. I'm so happy you asked that question. See, the difference between those women who take off their clothes and things like that. And I hate that to use that analogy as, to say like those women are less than or anything like that because there are women that, go, and I'm a, I, I don't even like strip, I, I don't dance or nothing like that, but there are women that go in those clubs, they get their money and they go. And the difference is, is they're using their own mind. They don't give their money to nobody. They're not sharing their platform with nobody. But here, they could be fully clothed and they letting you play on them. I don't care what they got on. It's about your mind. And it's not giving, it's not giving brain. me telling Olivia to be the best business owner that she can be is me praying on her and sure I'm praying no, no, on her. If me telling Let me tell you what you praying on her is. You praying on her is you sitting up here telling that girl that I don't know who parent to do that, who daddy to get up there and bash their daughter. But um, that's praying. That's that's cause that's that girl daddy. And that's something you're not even supposed to exactly. get into uh, as a man. You're supposed to positive, stay in your place. Positive, and Olivia's a fool because I would have put you in your place. Wait, wait, wait. Her father's on the internet talking about her relationship. I don't care what anybody say. To me, that's corny. And I think that that should have been handled a different way, especially when you got an open invitation. We at any point he can call my phone. We will fly him out. He can call stay your phone day. for what, Sean? Mm. Bro, so you think it's better rather than him catching a flight, coming here, staying here, asking me any question, you think it's better for him to go to the internet and talk ain't to strangers? Ain't y'all on the internet? Bro. Ain't y'all on this motherfucker? This is not what we're doing. Olivia, Olivia is better than me because I would have never allowed anybody to disrespect my daddy. And that says a lot about your character, Olivia, because that man ain't going to be in your life forever. And you sat there and let that man play with your play on your daddy top like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Although I'm very disappointed by the way that my dad, dad is dad very disappointed in you. Dad Your dad is disappointed in you. Have you ever thought of that? That, hey, maybe my dad is disappointed that he, my dad was in my life. And seeing somebody whose father wasn't in their life, this is striking a nerve because you don't have no excuse. Your daddy was there, oh, so why are you? And then that go back to that makes me think you just got like personality issues or like identity issues or something. Because one, you won't be from the hood. Now you don't want to have a daddy. Like what's going on? Could you let her speak, please? I want to clarify. I don't think you guys know. I'm not trying to bash my dad. I'm not trying to say, but I saw him every other weekend when I and we started that at age twelve. Did I see him in my childhood? Sporadically. So if you, that's, that's the extent of how he was in my life. I'm not saying he was an absent father. He abandoned me. I'm not saying that. But what are you guys to say that for somebody that had, that doesn't have a dad, not saying that I did it. Yeah. Like why would yeah. like. Yeah. And I want y'all, uh, why don't, so why don't y'all do this? Why don't, 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 why don
Why don't y'all go ask him, hey man, what happened with you and Olivia's mom? And see what he says. Because he's sitting here trying to tell people how to run a family, but what happened to his family? Please, let's 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 make that make sense. Like if it's if, 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 that, if you are so out of line with on. those if questions though. Advice, if he has but all Sean, advice, do you understand what? how you are so out of line? Yeah. Like this, no, you no, no, are no, 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 so no. out of line. Because at the end question? of the day, that is her father. And as a man, like I, like if you was around a real man, a real man probably would have slapped you for that. Like as a man, you just supposed to keep it pee. Like shut up. Like don't even get into that. That's between her and her daddy. Like that's really how well, it go. Like this, shut let up. Me get, let, me, let me get this straight. I'm wrong for speaking on it, but Absolutely. her father's not wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Absolutely. But her father, her father, who's oh got like oh, what is he? Fifty years old went to the internet to speak about it. So when he do it, it's cool. But when I do it, I'm the devil. Make no, it make no, sense. No, 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 Because Bro, what, he on, did, what he did, what he did is no. he, he, first of all, he, he didn't even say nothing bad. And I hate that you keep saying that. And you act like it's a, you don't even have no daughter to even say how you would or wouldn't feel. Like, that's this man's daughter. And she's sitting up with a 30-year-old man and a 29-year-old woman. Do you know how that sound? At Bro, 20 years I, old, I, that sounds crazy. I literally agree with everything that Don't you're saying. Don't nobody gonna hear about oh, the vision oh, and listen, shit when that daughter is involved? My daddy would have killed you, Sean. I agree with you. I'm not even arguing you. I'm saying you're right. I get how it looks. But why, as a man, as a father, would you not want to come fly to San Diego, look me in my eye as a man, and shake my hand, and we have a... Because he doesn't cop. look at you oh, like a man. He sees you as a coward. Oh, I wouldn't look he, you in your oh, face either. On. Why can we not have a genuine conversation man to man? He has an open invitation. And what y'all don't know is he was supposed to be coming out here May 20th. That, you that's heard what he said he, that. We heard that earlier. Sean, you just on, asked the question with, with that I just respect, answered for respect, you, right? With all due respect, I appreciate your passion, but I'm not going to let a woman tell me how to be a man. At the end of the day, you've never walked this planet as a man. You have no right to tell me how to be a man. Oh, with but I can recognize respect. one. No, I can recognize, recognize one. And if I can't recognize a, a man, I can no. recognize a coward. No. I can recognize no. a narcissist. No. I can recognize well, a manipulator. I ain't got to be no man that. to know what one look yeah. like. And, and by but the way, sure. I, want to make this, I want to make this perfectly clear. Mr. Applebear, if you're watching this, listen, man, I disagree with how you handled that situation. It's no bad blood between it. It's a little disappointing to see, but I still would love to shake your hand, you look you in your eye. Why don't you call him and say that? Listen, it's not even to you. It's not even to you. Because I know they're going to clip this up. I want you guys to send this, Mr. Applebear. I want to look you in your eye, man to man, shake your hand, and you can ask me <laughs> any and everything. Any and everything, because I get how it looks. I understand that. My whole point is I feel like we should have did that man to man. And I still don't know any grown man that's going to go online and bash a daughter or bash her decision publicly without at least speaking to that man the first. The same way that you got on here and smelled, oh, smelled between Olivia legs and smelled, smelled her feet and you made them girls cry. And at the same way you get on here and do shit as a grown man. All right, so Hello? because I smell her feet, because I smell her feet on live, I'm a bad person. Okay. No, because you're a narcissist, you're a bad person, Shine. You're totally out of line. That girl, I, if I was your her daddy, I wouldn't talk to you in either. And the reason why he's not talking to you is because he does not view you as a man. He views you as a coward, just like the other 50,000 people that watch you. I'm the coward, but I'm telling him I want to see you, bro. I, I, and I'm, the Olivia, thing is, do you hear yourself? Bro, like, Sean, okay, okay Sean, so let, let her talk, on, because hold what? On, hold on. So let me ask you a question. If Olivia is a powerful person, how can I approach that as a man? Because when it's me and Olivia, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's when not giving Olivia, powerful. When me, Olivia, when me and Olivia first even liked each other, I call him because I understood his position and I call him man to man and we had a conversation and it was a cool conversation and then we agreed, hey man, it'd be awesome to meet, it'd be awesome to connect. So I'm asking you, how should I handle that situation differently because I opened my home up, willing to fly him out, willing to pay for his flight, willing to house him, willing to feed him, willing to do all of that and answer every question that he has. Please explain to me what I should have done differently. Please explain. You ready for me to explain? Yes. You let that man little girl go. That simple. You let that little girl fucking go. That simple. 
That is a little girl, Sean. And you know that's a little girl. And regardless of how you see her, regardless of how fine she is, because the body is giving Olivia, I do love your shape. But baby, that's a child. That's a child. And whatever, whatever your motive is with her, it's not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And Shanice, you know what? I was asking Shanice. Let me ask my question to Shanice because y'all are driving me crazy. Shanice, now when you called the Lord your king the other day, right? Why did you go back on that? I didn't back up on anything. So, so what happened? Listen, listen. I'm going to say this again because I've said this so many times. The Lord is above all. The Lord is above all. The Lord is above all. No, 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 no. Now you switch. The Lord is your king. That's what you said. Listen, I see the Lord as the king, okay? My relationship is my relationship. I see my man as a king, as he sees me as a queen. That is Do you know that the Lord said, deny me in front of your friends and I will deny you in front of my father? So what I what 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 I'm saying here is whatever spell Sean got you under, like I, all the other shit is fun and games, but when it come down to God, like that sh that should be your boundary. And I'm telling you as just as a Christian woman, like that that's the line that Sean shouldn't be able to cross. Like any other thing, he could play with you. He could play you with your reputation. Can you, pull the clip? Can you pull the clip of me saying that I'm above God? Please, please pull that clip because I never said that. And another thing. Why would a woman you that considers herself when she said oh, that oh, oh, the oh, Lord oh, was oh, her oh, king? Why would a why would a woman that considers herself it a is queen? Good Friday. Not, Ooh, why would a woman that considers herself a queen not consider herself, not want to be with somebody that's that she views as her equal? If you're a queen, how can I not be a king? Why would you date something that's not Woman is gonna call herself a queen and not call her man king. And I didn't have a problem with what she said. I told you all it was about the principle of letting somebody influence her answer. She could have said, hey, Courage the Cowardly Dog is 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 my king. If that's her answer, if that's her beliefs, that's her beliefs. I'm all about respecting people. How did somebody influence her The only thing is, I didn't know. hold on, hold on. The thing is this, I just I just feel, felt like this, hey, don't allow somebody else to influence your answer. Because if somebody asked her, hey, who's your king? If we walking down the street, you know what she's gonna say? This is my king. And I feel like she had allowed that girl to influence her answer. That's all that I was saying. We can't but that's try to how appease. you felt. Hold on, but the thing is this, we can't try to appease strangers. You know what I mean? Just the same way you think that I should let Olivia go and, and that I'm a narcissist and that, and that I'm manipulating Olivia. That's cool, that's your opinion. But at the end of the day, I don't have to lay down next to you. I have to lay down next to Olivia. So I don't care what y'all think about. I don't care about what y'all think about me. I care about what my queens think about me. And that's at the end of the day, that's all that matters is the people that you're in a relationship with. That's all, that was my whole point. I'm just saying. And that's a lie. That's a big bold faced lie. If you didn't care what anybody thought about you, you wouldn't get on here every day. You wouldn't get mad every time somebody strikes a nerve or call you out on your bull crap. It's just tired. It's giving tired. I'm just honestly, this is You're tired because you've been like so emotionally like you're I'm, emotional. No, 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 listen. I am literally a very passionate person. Anytime I talk, this is how I talk. Literally, like I'm gonna get off this live and not think about this shit ever again. So that's not that's not this not that. I'm just like really a passionate person. Thinking about it, talking about it, journaling about it, all that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just hate to see a young woman, young two young, beautiful women, like be so caught up in a web and like just to be here advocating for this shit so hard that you go against the family. Like I can't even I don't care what no man got. Like my family you don't play with my family. Listen, what what previously to her dad saying something, and again it's no bad blood. I just personally don't know a lot of fathers who would have pulled that move. I, and I, it's it not even about her father. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's all I'm saying. To pull up the clip before today of me saying anything negative about her father. We never bad spoke about her father. That never came never, out of our mouth. Never. That never came out of our mouth. Never. When did we ever like, tell her to go against her dad? That never came out of our mouth. 
That never came out of my mouth. I still don't have nothing bad to say about him. I disagree with how he handled it. I wish we could have looked each other in the eye, shook hands as men, and talked. That's how I wish we could have handled it, and I'm still open to do that. I yeah, think that but when you say things, things like, that's how we could have handled it. I don't know what grown man, like, that's offensive. That's not, like, a compliment. But anyway, somebody said, um... How how is Olivia like 20 years grown? And when I say Olivia is a child, I don't mean like in age. I mean like in maturity. Like when I was young, I talked to an older guy and I mean older than Sean. I was, bro was about 38. And like, I had no business with that man. And I just feel like no young girl, like you don't even know who you are at 20. So it's like, honestly, I feel like this is maybe just a process that Olivia has to go through to grow into herself. But that goes back to what I said earlier, like, they gonna grow and they gonna leave your ass. No, we are not. And even if they did, no. who cares? Let, let me ask you a question. By the time, Olivia is probably about to have a million followers on, Insta on, on TikTok in the next... But why does that matter? I don't want It's, it's a platform that she can use for good. So if she went from 22,000, let's just say she leaves in a couple months and she's at a million, would you say that she benefited from the relationship or no? She benefited from the lives, Sean. What's the live say? <laughs> the, Why the, are we here? Why are we're here we? because you think that you're going to get famous. You think that you're going to get the money. You think that something is going to break for you. That's why we're here. But it's not going to happen that way. This is the thing you guys don't understand. I've been in business. I'm not trying to say I'm all that, but I've achieved what 99% of people will not. And if you go to my Instagram and look at the lifestyle and the testimonials, look at those two highlights. You can see that Shut I've been, I already on, looked at that and on, I didn't get anything on, from on. it. Hold on, hold on. I've been doing this before I even got to TikTok. I've been doing this way before I got to TikTok. So what have you been doing? Being, Social media? Go look at it. Have you checked out my profile? Do you know what I, I do? I have do you checked know out your profile and it's given like aspiring business guy. Like it's given like that's what you want to be. That's what you're seeing. Yourself and it says aspiring business guy. You said it yourself. Boom. There you go. So you know that I've been doing this. Like I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. No, so, no, 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 no. Not inspiring. With that being said, do you have a business? Yes, I have three actually. Good. Shout out your business. What is it? What do you help? What do you well, help people do? I just wrote a self help journal. Um, I have a Ooh. podcast, Girl with a Purpose, and I'm opening up a shop in Atlanta in July. So. Love it. Stay Yo, where can they find you? Where can they find your 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 journal? At? Your journal book. Um, the link is in book. my bio. Link, and then and then what they does that help them? Girl, do? They, they, they I know they're not trying to get me off. Y'all already said what I had to say. No, no, no. When they buy the journal, when they buy the journal, what do they get? Like, what what is it? What problems does it help them solve? Well, you need to get it. You know what? Actually, if you open to it, send me a P.O. box. I'll send all y'all a copy. No, no, but it's, to, it's a healing listen. journal. It's an ultimate healing journal. And what, mm -hmm. what it basically talks about is the power and perspective and really just seeing life from the glass half full versus half empty perspective and the role that God plays in all of our lives and just knowing that God God is the ultimate. God will God, do it. I like. Listen, the first person, the first person, you guys go blow her up. First person to buy that journal, screenshot it, send it to me. Uh, the first person I see with the screenshot that you confirm you purchased she the journal. Me, I'm a, I'm a we doing more as a power couple than y'all too. And pay for the and pay for the journal. All right, so y'all go blow her up. The self help journal. Uh, we we want you got the, some things you want to heal, some things you want to confront. Go buy the journal. The first person that sends me a screenshot, they bought it. I'm literally gonna cash up them uh, to pay for it. Man, we support all small business owners. Whether you hate us, whether you love us, don't matter. I just want to see I more good. I, hate you know, so I want y'all to heal. I think you got great intentions, but I'm gonna tell you this, man. One day, listen, you're going places for sure, and I'm telling you this right now. You're gonna be like, man, one day. You you gonna be like, damn! I remember I talked to him on live. Hey, he didn't came a long way. They didn't came a long way, and they didn't helped a lot of people. So with that being said, I literally appreciate you being on here so much. Literally means a lot. Thank you so much. All right. Yep, 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 yep. So with that being said, you guys, listen, man. The self help, go and get it. Hold on, man. Uh, we we love it. We love it. Yeah, we love it. We love it. We love it. We absolutely love it. 
Um, and I want to help you guys as well, man. Listen, we want to hear, we want to give you guys strategies so you can have better friendships, better relationships, better, more money, everything, man. We're not perfect. We're just, you know, a little bit further in, along in our journey. Again, my name is Sean T. Adams, Forbes published most seven figure entrepreneur. This is the superstar Olivia Appleberry. Some of y'all call her Apple Booty. Some of y'all call her Holly Berry. I don't know. <laughs> Right? She is a 20 year old phenom, multi six figure business owner and dish worker. She look good, she smell good, she tastes good too. Her name is Shanice Greer and she travels the world doing humanitarian work, saving babies. We're San Diego royalty and we're here to help you guys, man. Literally, we just want to help you guys. So if you're watching this, you got a 700 plus credit score, you want to learn to make ten to $15,000 a month. We want to help you with that, man. DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. It's the one with the blue check. DM me free game, and I'll teach you for free, okay, how to make ten dollars to $15,000 a month. I'll never ask you for your credit card. I'll never ask you for money online. I know, I get it. You guys are like, man, there's a lot of scams out there. How do I know this guy's legit? Go look at my highlights. Go look at my testimonial. Go look at the lifestyle highlight. If you look at those highlights and actually look through them, and you are not convinced that I'm legit, bro, you never have to listen to my free advice again. But... If you look through it and you feel like maybe he is legit, uh, then I highly suggest you DM me free game, man, because we just want to give you strategy, a couple strategies that you can use to take to make more money so you can take care of your church, take care of your community. And for my guys, man, for my guys, my young guys, my young, powerful kings out there, man, this is what comes with the territory, man. If you want to be successful, you got to be willing to be on light, bro. It, it, it is what it is. Even LeBron James has haters. All he does is love his wife and try to be the best basketball player he can be. And people don't like him. It's crazy. So with that being said, you're always going to have haters when you're on a path to success, man. But if you guys want to have super massive success, you want to learn to make ten to 15000 a week. For my guys only, my kings, man, if you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, mentor, and I'll reach out to you and personally and see if mentorship's a great fit for you guys man um follow shanice we're trying to get her on instagram we're trying to get her to a hundred thousand followers hundred thousand yes, <laughs> and follow olivia we're trying to get her to 10k on instagram listen hey. we appreciate you guys i love you guys so much baby let's go ahead yeah. you guys have a good night happy friday be great thank you so much